Hi everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part 24 of the Matoya Family Let's Play. Before starting this part, I had Alex move the houseboat over to Refuge Island, since for now this is where I plan to build a house for them someday. And Andy and Nicole did give me this idea in the last part. I thought that this would be the perfect spot to move the houseboat to, because uh, I wanted to just get it out of the open water where I was before. Uh, unfortunately, there's no dock here, so it's still technically just floating, so they're going to have some uh, seasickness, but... Oh, right before I started talking, I did notice a pop-up here saying that apparently prompts tonight. I think I saw something about that before. I can't remember if it was when I was actually recording or not. But yeah, it looks like Avalon's going to have a second prom. Uh, usually that doesn't happen for me because I tend to, like in the past I played with the normal lifespan in The Sims 3, but yeah, this is the first time I've really played with the long one, so yeah, she's a teen long enough to have two proms. Which makes sense because usually you can go to prom your junior and senior year of high school. So uh, yeah, her and Everado got together last year's, the previous prom, so I guess technically it's like they've been together for a year now. Uh, speaking of which, I should probably have her... See if we can have her ask him to prom. Well, I guess since they're together, maybe it'll it'll um it'll just have them go together anyway. Although, how is the limo thing gonna work if they're if she they're out here on this island now? I guess I'll just zap her to land. Let's get into a limo there. Uh, but right now, I'm having Avalon work on painting a little bit, and Alex is off at work, but. The lifeguard career hasn't really been super exciting lately, so I just didn't really bother. I didn't really want to bother with actually showing it, but since we are on this island, let's have Guppy get on sniffing for some collectibles, see if we can find anything. Oh, another thing that I did before starting this part that I've been really needing to is fixing the whole bug glitch that's going on at the resort. So a few parts back, uh, one of you, Susan, let me know how to fix that. And basically what you have to do is uh, there's an insect spawning box that's located underground and staff can't get to it, so you have to just move it above ground, then it should be fine. So that's what I went ahead and did. Hopefully we won't be having any more cockroach-related reviews at the resort. Originally my whole plan for this evening was to have Avalon invite Liliana over and hang out with her, but the whole resort, or the whole um, prom thing means, means that that's not really going to be able to happen. So I guess instead I'll have Alex visit... Davy Jones' locker and try to find that one chest that he can now get since he's at level 6. Uh, but yeah, I guess she's just gonna zap to the nearest land. Yep, that's what's going on. She's getting to a limo way over here. I don't know how that works, but apparently it does. I'm pretty sure Alex is off of work by now, so I'm just gonna get him on home so that we can have him go out and do some scuba diving. And uh, maybe... Oh! Oh no! That... I know what that means. He found like a chip bag or something useless like that. What did we get? A leaf! Oh boy, we got a maple... I don't know how we even found a maple leaf though. Because I'm pretty sure there's no maple trees on that island, but... Whatever, it got there somehow, we found it. Even though we absolutely don't... Oh hey, there's Christabel! Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, she had a little bit of a... I remember she had a bit of a crush on Christabel too. Uh, but anyway, she's going off to prom, so we'll see what kind of... That music is super loud. That's okay. That's <laughs> I love this like cheesy, cheesy '80s romance music. Um, what was I talking about? I don't even remember what I was talking about. I think I'm gonna get on having Guppy hunt for some more collectibles to see if we can get anything more useful than a maple leaf. Yeah, I don't even know how maple leaf got on this island. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully, we'll find a rock or a gem or something useful that we can sell for lots of money. And uh, use that money to build a nice house on this island, although there's there's not a ton of space on this island, but I mean, we can flatten out, we can work with it. Oh, nice. Prom queen. Was it she? She's prom queen last time. Oh, you know what? I should have just had Alex go to the dive spot instead of going all the way here. And I'm pretty sure... Yep, it's right there. That is kind of convenient that this their new where their new house is going to be is located right near the diving spot. Alright, Alex just got out to Davy Jones' locker, so we're gonna have him scuba dive, and I also, we also got this pop-up saying that Avalon spotted someone trying to hit on her crush and a fight broke out. I wonder if that's talking about Everado, or if maybe it's talking about Ignacio, who she does have a bit of a crush on. What is this? Avalon wanted to set a booby trap, but Avalon saw chaperones everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's- oh! Ew, shoot, oh shoot, we still have like all those fish in our inventory, don't we? Okay, uh, I do not- Oh, wait, no. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Um, oh, no, it was the meat that I had. Okay, we're gonna sell this meat because I am not cool with him getting fought by a shark anymore. Like, 
I'm not rooting for that to happen anymore, because, uh... Now that we got the island, it's not really worth the risk, although I probably could have saved all that meat for a nice cookout or something like that, but... Ooh, that was a good bit of money for those, uh, for the sea anemones. I think that's, I think that's just about everything. I might have seen a fish in here. Okay, yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. We got all the meat out of our inventory, so hopefully the shark does not attack us. Let's, oh, whoops, that was weird. Okay, let's just get you, let's just get you over here away from this shark, and hopefully we do not get attacked again. I'm gonna be kind of like, okay, I think the shark actually left, so we're good. I think we're good. Uh, that would just kind of frustrate me if we got attacked by the shark when I really didn't want to after having so much trouble getting attacked by it when I wanted to. Like, that's that's just how things work. Uh, okay, we can't get that anymore. Oh, I was hoping we could hit that chest again. Nope, okay, so we gotta find the other one again. Let's see, Avalon, I hope they pay, play your favorite song. Ooh, let's collect that. Just to keep him occupied so he doesn't swim to the surface. Oh, cool, level five. Hopefully he finds something. All right, I'm just gonna hunt around here for that other chest. Oh, is that it? Oh, sweet. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. What are you doing? Okay. Just getting that. That was easier than I thought it'd be. Uh, nice. We finally found something different. Okay, that thing again. Let's see what... Uh, we found 1,500 civilians, three large gold ingots, and two conch shells. Not bad. Oh yeah, speaking of money, the resort made a little over 3,700 simoleons of profit a day, so upgrading the resort tower certainly helped quite a bit as far as the profit. Why does this keep popping up? Okay, we get it. Avalon wants to... Oh. Okay, yeah, that was a pretty uneventful prom. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's get our own home just so there's no issues. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, so yeah, the resort started to make much more of a profit now, so it shouldn't be too much longer before we can actually afford to make them a house. I'm not sure if I'm going to just have the the house on the island or if I'm going to keep the houseboat too. I think they can have both a regular house and a houseboat, so maybe I'll just, just do that, have them have two houses. But I think that's enough scuba diving since we got that chest, so I'm just going to have him get out of the water here. And uh, he's getting pretty tired. I think Avalon might be sort of tired too. Well, not really, but yeah, not too much else is going to go on this day, so I'll just be back the following one. It's a Monday after prom and near the end of Avalon's time as a high schooler. So as is tradition in many American high schools, at least, it's senior skip day and Avalon has an overwhelming urge to just skip school today. She's also feeling a little bit rebellious, so maybe she'll want to get into a little bit of trouble today. I'm not sure. But yeah, we're not gonna have her go to school today. I think we're gonna have her go somewhere and hang out with Liliana since I did want to work on the two of them becoming best friends. So that's something I have not been able to do. So today would probably be the perfect day to take care of that. But her reasons for skipping school this day are much different than the last time. Then again, her relationship with Alex has also changed a lot. She cared a lot more about what he thought back then, but the relationship has just eroded so much over the past year that she just doesn't care anymore. She knows that He's, uh, <laughs> he might yell at her, but she doesn't really care. She's going to be an adult soon, so we can't really tell her what to do for much longer. Um, but who knows, maybe she'll actually get away from it this time. And what was that? Thank you for being considered and keeping your sick child at home today. Yeah, right, she's sick. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's perfect. It's kind of like she called in sick for herself. Well, she actually is a little bit sick, but I mean, probably not that sick. But anyway, as far as what to do this senior skip day... I was thinking you could have her and Liliana maybe... Uh, okay, right, that's not gonna work. Okay. Let's do it this way then. We can have the two of them head out to the beach together and just hang out there for the whole day. And uh, maybe I'll invite some other people along and see who can actually make it. I'm not sure how many of her friends are gonna be goody two-shoes and actually want to go to school. But we can we can try inviting Everardo, invite Christabel... Let's invite him, why not? Do we also have... Where's Lily? Oh, there's Liliana. Okay, yeah, I definitely want to get her. Anyone else that she really knows? Yeah, there's no one else that she's really good friends with. Okay, there we go. That's a better way to view it. Oh, great. Okay, that reset it all. Alright, well, we'll just pick this again. There we go. So we'll see who out of these guys can actually come. I have a feeling it's only going to be Liliana, but maybe, who knows, maybe some other ones will want to skip school and come out with her. 
But I'll be happy as long as at least Liliana comes out, because I definitely want to work on their friendship some. And Alex is still asleep, so, uh... Oh, never mind, he's not, but uh, we'll... We'll get out of... No! <laughs> oh, this is probably about the ones who are in school. Okay, well, maybe... Okay, so I guess maybe at least only Liliana can actually come. Okay, well, right, maybe she can just get out of the house before he, uh, he comes out of the bathroom. Okay, I think we're good. Let's see, Guppy found a rock. Looks like the falling won't be able to make it. Okay, well, it looks like Liliana at least will, um... Will be able to come out, which which makes me happy. And Guppy found something. Let's see what he found. A large space rock. Okay, we got a little bit of money for that. Oh, and I also sold because he found a metal the previous night, but then I, I just forgot. I lost track of when I was talking about it. Um, so I just sold that. It was something that was worth like 600 simoleons. But it does seem as though Guppy could use some attention. So I'm going to have Alex go ahead and take care of that once he's done. What is he doing? Cleaning the toilet? Yeah, that's definitely a good thing to do. Okay, yeah, let's. Let's scold you for being, for growling at someone. We definitely don't want that kind of behavior, Guppy. And, uh, let's also ask him, no, let's not do that. Let's, let's just pet him. Just give him a little bit more attention. Then I'm gonna pop back over to Avalon and see what she's doing. She should hopefully be almost at the beach by now. Okay, what do we have here? Pull a prank. Ooh, we could definitely do that. Okay, we're gonna, uh, we, we I don't know. I was, I was probably wasn't gonna take him for a walk in anyway. Kept forgetting to do that. So we'll pull a prank. There might be something at the beach that we can actually prank. So we'll check that out once we get there. I don't know. Can we whoop a cushion? I, it wouldn't really make a... Oh, we can somehow whoop a cushion these chairs. I mean, that makes no sense, but we could do it. So whatever. Uh, oh, great. He has to... Right. He has to lifeguard today. Uh, hopefully it's not at this beach. Because that'd be kind of... That'd be kind of awkward if he just ran into her here. Hopefully it's at a different one. But it looks like she's saying hi to Liliana. So let's see if we can actually get these two to becoming best friends today. We'll just chat with her for a little bit, see what she's been up to. It's been a while since they've, uh, they've hung out. I mean, she's out of high school and stuff now. Let's also do that. And then I'm going to get on with the whoopee cushioning this chair. Which, uh, makes no sense how that could be done, but whatever. Oh, right. I'll okay, well, he'll get to work after he does that. I forgot what there was to do with this beach. I don't think... This one... Oh, right. This is the one near where their house used to be. Uh, fortunately, there's not a grill or anything here, so we can't really grill up some food, but oh well. We can have, we can have them hang out at the fire pit, maybe, or get in the water. Yeah, I think there's a lot they can do. And are you off to work now? Okay, so hopefully he doesn't show up at this beach, otherwise that'd be... That'd be incredibly... Awkward. Also, why does Liliana... She always completely changes her look before she gets to water. Like, she just she just changes into, like, a 50s housewife before getting into water. I don't know what that's about. Uh, oh no, he's coming closer. Okay, please don't tell me you're coming around here. Okay, good, he's going right past the beach. Phew, that was close. Okay, we're over here. Awesome. Yeah, I, I didn't really want to have Avalon's fun day out cut short. But I guess it's a good thing that we didn't have her go to this beach. Okay, well then, uh, that was a that was kind of a close call. It's not like I don't think you can see her from all the way over there. Oh, look at these two having fun over here in the water. Uh, ew. Okay, I guess that doesn't count until someone actually sits in that chair. Well, what I might have to do to make that happen is just prank all the chairs in here, so that if anyone sits down, it's pretty much guaranteed they're gonna set up a whoopee cushion. Although, can we? Uh, no, we can't prank that. I feel like if we could prank the the regular chairs, we should be able to to booby trap this one. Okay, yep, of course we can't do anything with that. Alright, well, I'll just, I'll just, that's, that's no way to get a tan. You're not gonna get a tan if you completely cover yourself. Uh, but, yeah, let's just have her booby trap all of these, so, um, I mean, we have six chances of her pulling it off instead of one. Oh, what we could do is have the two of them hang out with the fire pit. I mean, that's like a guarantee that Liliana at least is gonna sit on one of them. It's kind of mean to prank, prank a friend, but that's just the kind of mood that she's in right now. And, uh, do we have anything else popping up here for this? Ooh, set five booby traps. Nice, nothing else. So what is this? Goo bowling with friends. Do I even have a bowling alley? Oh, right, those came with uni university life, but there's not any in here, so we can't really do that. Uh, Alright, well, we're just gonna, we're gonna get rid of sending a love letter to Everado and just, uh, set five booby traps instead. Yeah, I think we might be able to... Oh, we're not going to quite get there. 
Okay, well, once she's done with that, let's uh, let's not do whatever I clicked on and set a fire at the pit, and then have the two of them. Oh no, not set a fire pit. Light light fire. Um, and then have the two of them hang out there, and then it's a guaranteed to get a prank. To pull a prank. Oh, that's cool. There we go. Let's set a booby trap on that. There we go. We can we can finish uh, this whole thing. Why did you just randomly... Okay, come on. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, that's not, that's not gonna work. Well, let's... Sit at the fire pit, and then... See if we can get Liliana to come over. There we go. That's how you do it. Alright, so we are... I think we're just about to... Successfully prank her. Oh! Whoa, 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 buddy. I wanna... <laughs> I don't wanna revoke her boating license. Yes, we got her! Sweet! Okay, well let's, uh, let's actually... Eh, I don't know, it's, it's not super interesting hanging out at the campfire, but... Okay, well now that we did that, let's have her ro- <laughs> we just got her again! Okay, let's roast, uh, let's roast a tuna fish, because she is pretty hungry. Uh, that sounds a lot more appetizing than an anchovy. Um, so we can get her some food that way. I'd say she's having a pretty good day today. What do we have here? Pull five pranks. Ooh. Let's see if we can do that. And still just go bowling with friends. Oh, I completely forgot about bowling. Oh, that looks pretty good. Well, she will be going off to uni- Wait, was the university that bowling came with, right? Or am I- I don't know, I might be thinking of the wrong thing, or maybe- I know bowling came with the university in The Sims 2. But I think it came within The Sims 3 again. I, I don't really remember. It's been a while. But um, if it did come with university life, then that means that when she goes off to university shortly, she can go bowling. Which I'm really excited for. She does age up in five days, so we're pretty close to her going off to college. But I did like the idea that one of you had... I, I can't remember exactly when it, on which part it was left on, but... One of you said that she should go off to... She should go on a vacation with a bunch of friends. So I was thinking maybe she could go to France with some friends after she gradu graduates. That'd be pretty cool to do to mix in some world adventures. Because it's... How are you still hungry? You just ate, like... You ate a whole tuna fish. Okay, there you go. You finally figured it out. Okay, well, we can just have her go over there and swim around. And uh, we still don't have anything... Anything else here. Although... Oh, I might not technically... Yeah, I don't think it counted that as skipping school just because she stayed home while she's a little bit sick. But, um, I mean, in my book, she skipped it, so. It's fine. I think she might actually get away with it this time, too. So, uh, perhaps in the years since she last skipped school, she learned how to get away with it a little bit better. I mean, uh, I like to think she she faked calling herself out sick. I should probably ever talk to Liliana, though, because that is what I came here to have her do. Okay, well, we can we can at least have her go up to her and splash her. And, ooh, what is this? Oh, sweet. Okay, I, d I just saw something with the whole mood swing thing. Oh, come on. Stop. Snub Leanna Collins. Oh, is she even here? Well, uh, what's worth less? Let's see. That's 500. It's 500. I don't know. We'll just we'll just cancel all that one. That's the one's a little bit more difficult. And uh, let's see if this Le Leanna Collins person is here so we can start snubbing her. Maybe she walked by. I don't know. I didn't really pay attention to who was here. Okay, we have... That might be... Oh, that is her. Okay. Let's do that. That was easy. That was that was really easy. Let's see, someone in this group has some unresolved issues. I think he'll get out of here before fighting starts. What? What did we do? Did she not like being splashed? Who doesn't like being... Okay, well, a lot of people don't like being splashed. Maybe she just thought it was really petty and immature that Avalon decided to snub someone? I don't know, but, uh... That's unfortunate. Okay, so becoming best friends with Liliana might not... I mean, maybe they just, they just grew apart. I mean, that's a thing that happens. I don't know. Well, now that her little hangout has been broken up, uh, what should we ever do? She doesn't want to work out till fatigued. So we can just have her head over to the gym, which I think is somewhere nearby here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we'll just have her go over here, visit there. Uh, she can just work out till she's fatigued. And Alex, I believe, is off work. Actually, what time does he work until? Six, yeah, so he's off work. Uh, okay, that's interesting. But, uh, what I wanted to have him do was look at more internet dating profiles. Because things did go pretty well with, uh, I think her name was Gabrielle. But he's, he's not sure that he wants to settle down and just date one person just after all the crap he's been through. So 
He just wants to see what else is out there. But since the library is way closer than their house, I'm just going to go to the library, use the computers there to look at the dating profiles. Uh, but since Avalon's at the gym, let's go here, see who's here, have her get on exercising. I don't know if we're really going to have anyone else here, so I guess we can have her head over to the, the weight machines and pump some iron. Yeah, it doesn't really look like there's anyone else here at the gym. Yep, no one. And it doesn't really look as though anyone's going to show up, so uh, we'll just uh, we'll just see how the whole looking at dating profiles things go thing goes for Alex. Oh, nice, we have a computer right here. Let's get on using that. All right, how do we how do we do the whole online? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's. Do you want to check messages or browse profiles? Let's let's browse profiles. Let's just see what's out there. And then I guess after that, we can check the messages. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if there's anyone interesting. Alright, so we have the same people we saw before. We have Honey. I uh, just need to see that she's still... Wait, does she just not have three of her traits? Or like she just didn't want to share three of her traits? Uh, okay. Uh, God, yep. I think these are people who were here before. Oh, looks like Liliana's into the whole uh, online dating thing. Oh, look. There's, uh, there's Carly. Persephone. Oh, that's a really pretty name. I don't know. Let's check out her. Let's see, she's charismatic, good sense of humor, lucky, neat, and a workaholic. I kind of, I don't know, I just, I think she has a really cool name. I don't know, maybe we'll, uh, we'll check her out. And we, of course, have Honey again, Javiera. Oh, yeah, she, uh, looks like she jumped into an elder. Uh, Florida. Oh, I think she was, um... She was one you all were telling me I should have him go on a date with last time, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's there's not really too many people here. And there's Liliana, which again would be super kind of awkward if uh, we had him go for that. And then there's Carly. Nope, we're not going to do that. Lupita. Hmm. Oh, that's another really pretty name. Hmm. Uh, you know, let's... Let's check his messages, too. Oh, and he's a bit hungry, so we should probably take care of that. Okay, well, yeah, let's see if he's got any messages. I don't know why it's it's put pajama pants with his lifeguard uniform. That just looks awful. Uh, let's see. Is she Okay, so she's not quite fatigued yet. It's going to be a while before she is fatigued, so I don't know if that's going to happen. Oh, uh, yeah, we respond to her. We have uh, Henny, and then we have Laura. Uh, Persephone. Ooh, Persephone did message us. <laughs> nice profile pic. I love to see how the real thing compares sometimes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, kind of new with this, but you seem pretty cool. Want to give me a call sometime? I like the the confidence that Persephone has. So that's that's the same thing that Carly said, and that didn't work out so well. But uh, he's in a, he's looking for something different than oh oh this is awkward. <laughs> Liliana did message us. Hey, nice to kind of meet you. <laughs> Maybe I could for reals meet you. What do you think? Oh, going after her friends. Well, I guess not really friend anymore. We're going after her childhood friend's father. This is. This is quite interesting, and telling him that he's a cutie. I mean, I'm sure that it, it could be interesting to kind of see how Avalon reacts to that. I don't know. I'm sure that kind of a thing has happened, though, even if it is kind of weird. Uh, but you can let me know what you think. Like, should I just just have a message Persephone, or I guess stir the pot a bit and have a message Liliana? I don't, I don't know about that, though. So you all can just let me know what you think of, of that. I'm kind of interested to hear what you think of that. Uh, what is this? Oh, wait, no, right, we're not on... Okay, okay, let's answer this and see what it is. Okay. I'm gonna laugh if it's a sim... If it's a sim asking him out on a date. Oh, Gabri Gabrielle wants to go on a date with him. I'll probably have him go on another date with her at some time, because things did go pretty well last time, but... I don't think I'm gonna do that now, because he's not really in a great mood. Plus, I do want to wrap up this part pretty soon. But before finishing things up, I... Did, uh, I did want to check on the resort and see how the reviews are. Okay, looks like she's still going. Oh, what is... Is this going to be another date? What is this going to be? Rosemary... Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I'm going to refuse that, too. It's, it's always these two asking him out on dates. Okay, well, anyway, like I said, I'm going to go check on how the resort's doing. See if, uh, we're perhaps bug-free yet. Alright, resort management, view resort reviews... Like other places, plenty of hot tubs. I didn't feel very crowded. We only have one hot tub. Oh, nice! We're four and a half stars. Okay, so we're on our way back up to five. 
cheap cheap okay good price that's pretty good seeing as we did set it too expensive i enjoy the breakfast buffet uh, mainly just skimming through to see if there's anything about the cockroaches okay i'm pretty sure this was from when we looked at it last time but this is from today and there's nothing about cockroaches so i think we're pretty good see filthy grimy and gross or maybe this is since we looked at it last time i'm not really sure i did fix the whole bug thing the previous day so this could have been from before that and then i'm pretty sure this is from when we looked at it before uh so yeah, hopefully we fix that little problem. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and bye.